Nigerians are all over the world. For real, there's hardly a country that there is no Nigerian or at least someone with a Nigerian background. Even in the popular Hollywood scene, there are some famous actors and actresses you never knew were Nigerians. So let's look at 10 of them. Starting at number 10, we have Cynthia Erivo. You might recognize her from her captivating performances like her role as Harriet Stubman in Harriet or alongside Viola Davis in Widows as Bella. But did you know Cynthia Erivo has Nigerian parents I was born in London, Cynthia's journey to fame is as impressive as her acting talent. Her breakout moment came with the Broadway revival of The Color Purple, where she snagged a Tony Award and a Grammy for her stellar performance. Transitioning to the big screen, Cynthia continued to shine in films like Widows and Bad Time at the El Royal. But it was her portrayal of Harriet Tubman in the biopic Harriet that truly really mesmerized audiences. Not only did she earn an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, but her powerful rendition of Stand Up also earned her a nod for Best Original Song. The way we used to smile, my dear, oh. Doesn't spring from anywhere. What in the world forget to breathe? Yeah. Wish we could stop and feel the breeze. But I know there's no point in waiting for what I can see. Next up at number 9, we have Adetomiwa Edun. If you are a fan of Merlin, you will definitely recognize him as Sir Elian, Lady Gwen's brother. But did you know that Adetomiwa Edun, also known as Tomiwa, has Nigerian origins? Born in Lagos, Nigeria, he later moved to London at the age of 11, where his journey in the entertainment industry took off. His academic achievements earned him a prize for his thesis on Homer's Odyssey. Despite his father's encouragement to pursue a career in banking, Adetomiwa followed his passion for acting and attended prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts instead. This career took a leap when he became the second black actor to portray Romeo at the Globe Theatre. From there, he graced our screens with roles in Law and Order, UK, Bates Motel, Lucifer, and more. Not to mention, his voice talents as Alex Hunter in the FIFA video game series added another feather to his car. My name is Adetomiwa Edun um, and I'm playing Alex Hunter. So one of the first things I did when I got here was uh, I got my head scanned and then suited up. We have our faces kind of marked up and then we've got this head cam that gets put on and so you've got like a camera directly in your face. Yeah, it's quite an experience. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Next up at number 8, we have Adeperu Oduye. You might recognize her from her powerful performance alongside Cynthia Erivo in Widows and as Eliza in 12 Years a Slave. But did you know that Adeperu Oduye was born in Brooklyn, New York City to Nigerian parents? Adebayo's journey into acting began with the award-winning short film Patrice, directed by Deriz. Her breakthrough role in the film earned her critical acclaim and even a nomination for the Best Female Lead at the Independent Spirit Awards. She caught the attention of none other than Meryn Streep, who praised her performance during her Golden Globe acceptance speech. From there, Adebayo continued to shine on both the big and small screens. She appeared in the historical drama 12 Years a Slave, directed by Steve McQueen, which won the Academy Award for the Best Picture in 2014. Her versatility as an actress was further showcased in Ava, Ava DuVernay's short film The Door, and in her directorial debut with Breaking In, a powerful short film based on her brother Ellie's experiences. Adebayo's talent isn't limited to film. She's also made waves on Broadway, starring opposite Cicely Tyson in Hutton's Foot, The Trip to Bountiful. Her race as an actress was evident in Adam McKay's The Big Shot, which won the Academy Award for the Best Adapted Screenplay. In addition to her theme and theatre roles, Adebayo made a mark in the miniseries When They See Us, where she portrayed activist Nomsa Broad. At number 7, we have Tracy Ifecho. You might recognize her from her roles as Lydia Bates in Quintico or Aya Al Rashid in The Originals. Tracy was born in England to Nigerian parents and her journey into acting wasn't without its challenges. Despite her father's initial wish for her to focus on education, Tracy pursued her passion 
Jackson wholeheartedly. Her acting career kicked off with a bang when she appeared in her first feature film, Blooded, directed by Ed Boss. Tracy then made waves in the theater, staring as Meniva in the Royal Shakespeare Company production of Knots and Crosses. Moving into television, Tracy made a mark with roles in popular shows like Doctor Who and Strike Back Vengeance. Her versatility and talent landed her the reoccurring role of Lindia Hall in the ABC thriller series Pointy Co, where she captivated audiences with her performance. At number 6, we have Benga Kinagbe. If you are a fan of The Wire, you are likely familiar with Chris Patlow, portrayed by none other than Benga Akinagbe. He was born in Washington, D.C. to Nigerian parents and raised in Maryland. His breakthrough role came in 2003 when he auditioned for and landed the role of Chris Patlow in the iconic HBO series The Wire. His performance was so compelling that he was promoted to a series regular during the show's final season. Since then, Benga has graced both the big and the small screens with his presence, appearing in films like The Savages and the taking of Pelham 1 2 3. He's also made memorable guest appearances on popular TV shows like Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, and The Good Wife. Benga's versatility as an actor knows no bound. Whether he's portraying a former Ugandan child soldier in Law and Order, SVU, or a CIA agent in 24, Live Another Day, he always delivers a captivating performance. So if you are enjoying the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like. Into our number 5 now, we have Martin Ihangbe. You might recognize him as Will Mondry, the charismatic bartender from the hit Netflix series Brigatin. But did you know that Martin Ihangbe is from Edo State, Nigeria? Martin was raised in Southeast London. He pursues his passion for performing arts, earning a BTEC diploma in performing arts at Lewisham College. Despite facing initial setbacks, Martins persevered and eventually graduated from the prestigious Royal Central School of Speech and Drama in 2013. Since then, Martins had been making waves in the theatre world with his compelling performances. From his roles in productions like Richard II and Death of a Salesman to touring internationally with Baba Shop Chronicles, he has proved his versatility and talent time and time again. In 2020, Martins landed his breakout screen role as Will Modridge in Brighter Team. For his portrayal of Will Modridge, he underwent rigorous training with Kok Hoa at the Commando Temple in Denford, ensuring that he delivered an authentic and memorable performance. Next up at number 4, we have Sam Adegoke, the talented actor you might recognize from the Dynasty reboot series. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, Sam Adegoke's path to Hollywood took him from Minneapolis to Los Angeles. In 2015, Adegoke's talent caught the attention of the industry when he won the prestigious ABC Discovers Digital Talent Competition after a nationwide search. This marked the beginning of his journey into the world of entertainment. His breakout role came in 2017 when he portrayed Michael Jackson's bodyguard, Jevon Baird, in the Lifetime biomic Michael Jackson's Searching for Neverland. In the same year, Adegoke landed the role of Jeff Colby in the reboot of the iconic series Dynasty for the CW. Adegoke's talent continued to shine as he expanded his repertoire with roles in films like This Is Not A War Story and Dark Days and The Dawn. In 2024, he joined the cast of the Pickup miniseries Fight Night, The Million Dollar Heist. With each role, Sam Adegoke proves his dedication to his craft and his ability to captivate audiences with his performances while also bearing a strong Nigerian heritage. Next up at number 3, we have O.T. Fagbenle. Born in London to a Yoruba father and British mother, O.T. Fagbenle's multicultural upbringing shaped his diverse talent. Fabian Lee's acting career began at a young age when he landed the role in an adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth. He honed his craft at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts and quickly made a name for himself in the theatre world. His performances in productions like Six Degree of Separation end in critical acclaim and prestigious awards. Entering into film and television, Park Bene showed his talent with roles in projects like Breaking and Entry and Little Miss Joylene. However, it was his portrayal of Luke Bacon only in Hulu's The Handmaid's Tale that catapulted him to international recognition. His compelling performance earned him an Emmy nomination and multiple nominations for
for Screen Actors Guide Awards. In addition to his acting, Fabian Lee is also a talented writer and musician, and his recent appearances in films like Black Widow and Disney Plus Secret Invasion continue to solidify his status as a star in Hollywood. Next up at number two, we have Nonso Anozi. Born in North London to Nigerian Igbo parents, Nonso's breakout moment came when he played the title role in William Shakespeare's King Lear, earning him the prestigious and Shelley seen award in 2004 for his portrayal of Othello. Anozi's versatility as an actor shines through his various roles, from playing the fearsome Zarozwan Dazos in the famous HBO's Game of Thrones to the enigmatic Renfield in NBC's Dracula. He's also graced the silver screen with his presence in films like Case and Ender's Game, showcasing his range and depth as a performer. In addition to his on-screen talent, Anozi's voice talent were recognized when he initially hired to voice the Armand Bear Lorek Benison in the film adaptation on Philip Puma's Northern Light. Although he was replaced by Anne McKinley, his talent was evident. Any praise from the film's director, Chris Waits. Anozi's recent success includes his role in the CBS series Zoo and the Netflix series Sweet Tooth, where he not only captivated audiences but also earned accolades such as the Children's and Family Emmy Award for his performance. At number one, we have the famous John Boyega, and his face looks familiar, right? Born and raised in the vibrant neighborhoods of Camberwell and Peckham in London, Boyega's upbringing was infused with his Nigerian heritage thanks to his parents Abigail and Samson Ade Boyega, who instilled him a deep sense of cultural pride. Despite rumor about his father's aspiration for him to become a minister, Boyega pursued his passion for acting. Boyega's acting journey began at a young age with his role as Leopard in a school play eventually leading him to Theatre Peckham, where his talent was nurtured under the guidance of Teresa Early. He honed his skills at Westminster City School and South Thames College before venturing into the world of professional acting. His breakout role came in the 2011 film Attack the Block, followed by a stellar performance in Star Wars The Force Awakens, where he portrayed Finn, a character beloved by audience worldwide. He was a rising star. In addition to his film roles, Wega ventured into production, founding his own company, Opera Room Entertainment Limited and co producing projects like Pacific Rim Uprising. His commitment to storytelling extends beyond the screen, as evidenced by his collaboration with writer and director Sebastian Tell on a series inspired by their childhood experiences. Boyga's influence reached the silver screen as he consistently earned recognition for his impact on the industry. He has been honored in prestigious leads like The Power Leads and the New African Magazine's Top 100 Most Influential Africans. Boyga has also featured in projects like The Woman King and The Cloned Tyron. Audiences eagerly anticipate his future projects, including the highly anticipated sequel to Attack the Block. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly hit the subscribe button and like. Click on the end screen on your left to watch 10 Nigerians who made us proud internationally.